Confidence is something you create within yourself by believing in who you are. Confidence is the most beautiful quality anyone could embody. Approach every moment of every day with the expectations that you can do anything. My name is Angel. This is Have Faith, Let It Begin. And today's episode is called Confidence. Don't you see that your faith is coming Have faith, let it begin. Hello everyone, my name is Angel and welcome to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. We want to thank Gabby Santana for the use of our theme song, Tested. Gabby Santana wrote it, performed it, and produced it all on her own. 14 years of age, visit her her YouTube channel and that is Gabby Santana. I want to talk to you today about something that I think is important. When you wake up and the sun is shining, when you wake up and you've had a rough, rough week, and you are closing in on that half week, that hump day they call it, the Wednesday of the week. Remember this, the week is almost over. The weekend is nearly here. Don't allow anything or anyone to steal that joy. Don't allow anyone to sit here and tell you that you're not good enough. For those of you that are starting new relationships, have faith in them, put your trust in them, be prepared for the new beginning. For those of you that are beginning work for the first time or going in for an interview, trust and believe God is with you. For those of us that have been in our same jobs and continuing to do the same routine each and every day, here's a change for you. I believe in you. God believes in you. We all need to remember that we've been put here for a reason. We all have our talents, our treasures, And we all have the gift to share with others, whether it's words of wisdom, whether it's knowledge of a position that you can share and pass on. For those that have children, when you go to help them change or you give them their clothes to put on, as they look at you and they have those sparkle in their eyes, tell them that you love them. Allow them to share with you the fruits that you have given them. Allow them the ability to shine. Your actions speak louder than words. Your actions will allow others to shine with you. For those of you that are struggling with many different type of incidents, such as dealing with rejection, dealing with sadness and sorrow, it is my prayer for you that that is taken away from this very moment on. My prayer is that God will come into your life take away the pain, give you the confidence, the courage, the charisma that you so desire. As you go out into the workforce today, remember that as the sun shines, that sun that is glazing and blazing as you have to put your visors down to cover. When you're at a traffic light and you have a second, let that sun shine on your face. Let that warmth of the heat that's coming and projecting from your cars as the fall weather uh, reaches us. Let that be a notification to you that the good is on its way. That the goodness is here to stay. Many times we go out into the world and we claim defeat before we go into action. We wake up and say, this is not going to be a good day. We put ourselves in a position to feel defeated before we can go out and claim victory. My challenge to you today is to go out into the world and realize that you're not alone. To realize 
that you are not a failure. To realize that no one and nothing can steal your joy. I want all of you to wake up and feel for, feel for nothing but certain that we are in control. We have the ability to change our attitudes. If there are certain individuals out there, they constantly tell you things that you know is gonna bring you down. Tell them that's not something you wanna hear. Tell them that you do not respond to negativity well, that you are a positive person. Tell them that positivity feeds positive results. Our reactions each and every day can change our attitudes, our way of life are constantly challenged. Every single day we will encounter new obstacles, new storms. It is our job, it is our ability to try our best to overcome that. Some of us will use our faith. Some of us will use friendship. Some of us will use our children's love as they hug you and tell you that they're gonna miss you. Some of us use our jobs when we love them as a way of escaping from the negativity. Remember, no matter what you do in life and no matter how long you do it, if you have faith, if you believe in yourself, if you constantly think of nothing but good, good things will happen. And yes, no matter how great things happen and how many days you'll go consecutively of having good, excellent days, yes, there's going to be that one time, that one minute where it could turn. That's when your faith, that's when your ability and trusting in yourself gets called into action so that you're prepared to take on the negativity. I wish you an amazing day. I wish you joy and happiness. I wish all of you a blessed and faithful day. If you're listening to me today as you're ironing your clothes, if you're listening today as you're looking in the mirror and brushing your teeth, if you're listening today and you're driving in the car, if you have a second at this very moment, right now, to look in a mirror, just look into your eyes, say to yourself, today is the day that the Lord has made. Let me rejoice and be glad in it. Or, for those that are not followers and believers, look in the mirror and say, I will do well. I believe in myself. And I know today will be a good day. And then conclude it by saying the following, which is resonates through our title and the reasoning for why we do this show. Have faith. Let it begin. You guys have a great day because it's going to be a good one. I guarantee it.